What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Marvel's Avengers. And I know today is the official release date for the game. So there's going to be a lot of people hopping on and playing. I want to do five quick tips for beginners. The first tip is going to be creating a Square Enix account. You do not need the account to play single player, but you will need the account to play the Avengers initiative, which is what you do after you complete the single player. It's kind of the end game uh, to uh, Marvel's Avengers. So I would just recommend as soon as you boot up the game and it asks you to make an account, just go ahead and do that then. That way, once you've completed the story, you won't have to go back and do the account and all that kind of stuff. Um, the next thing is going to be do not waste resources early on. If you're playing the story mode, there's really no need to waste resources in leveling up gear. You're going to find plenty of gear in the story. Save those resources because you're going to need them once you get into the Avengers initiative to rank up certain pieces you know, to gain power level for your hero. Um, a lot of people are going to have a different opinion on this, but I feel that it's better to probably play the story to begin with if you don't want any kind of spoilers. If you hop in and play the Avengers Initiative right off the bat, which you can, you're going to have some spoilers in game. Uh, some of the missions, I mean, they're not going to be very difficult, but some of them may be a little difficult for you to play because you're not going to be leveled up properly. You're not going to have uh, you know, all your skills unlocked. Now, while the story does... Uh, take up it doesn't take too long i would say 15 hours 20 at the max um it's it's kind of i guess frustrating because you cannot play but just a handful of missions co-op with friends and i know, I know a lot of people are going, to, are going to want to hop in and play with friends automatically and you can do that with the avengers initiative but just my suggestion i would uh, recommend playing the story first before you hop in and start playing with friends in like i said the avengers initiative uh the next thing is going to be uh do harm missions. You're going to see a lot of these harm missions uh, open up once you progress a little bit through the story. And doing these harm missions uh, for each character as soon as possible will help out a lot in kind of learning some of the game's mechanics. The game does not explain the mechanics early on very well. And to me, even the harm missions themselves in, in the training room still kind of leave a little bit to be desired when it comes to some of these abilities. But at least it does explain a, a good bit for each character. So I would recommend or kind of just the basics for each character. So as soon as you unlock those missions for each character that you have available or each hero you have available, hop in and do those as soon as possible. And last but not least, make sure you take out anything that is in the air flying, whether it be flyers or turrets. Anything that can shoot you from up above is very dangerous in this game. And you're going to see as you get into it, if you play on harder difficulties like uh, if you, depending on what level you play the story on, you know, those are easy, normal, all the way up to brutal. But when you get into the Avengers initiatives, you play these things on challenge one, two, three, four, and kind of, you know, difficulty tiers, depending on what level you're playing on. And a lot of the, a lot of these things that are in the air flying. A lot of these turrets will take you out very easily. So make sure you're knocking all that stuff down before you start fighting anything on the ground. Of course, guys, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the uh, description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.